Yeah. So as the title of the video says, we really, 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 really got to talk. I found myself a couple of days ago and I really had an emotional breakdown. And I really, I don't know, I just, where to start? Where I was at a year ago versus where I was at two years ago versus where I was at six years ago and where I'm going to be in five years. So I, I, I look at that and that motivates me to, you know, stand up, man up, stick my chest out and take everything on the chin. But at times it can get really hard for me. It can get really, really hard for me. My name is Laurente Tavion Madison, and this is a portion of my story. I had my first child at 16, which is really, really young. So something I knew that I had to do was I had to go to college. I had to go to college and I had to go to school to get a good job. And in doing that, I just haven't. I haven't finished school. I've been in school since 2011. I took last year off, and taking last year off really focused me because I was up here and everything I was trying to do, it just wasn't, I wasn't successful in my endeavors. And I blamed a lot of things, but ultimately I blamed myself. So this past time around, I've really been trying. But now it's a situation going back home. Let me give you a bit, of, a bit of a context. My daughter's mother is from Jamaica. She's been in America for the past 10 to 15 years. Some, some say 12 years. She's been in America for the past 12 years. So we're on the phone and she's telling me that she's going back home to Jamaica. She's taking our daughter. And yeah, you know, they have planes and planes come back and forth. And we can go, I can go and get her and she can come back and stuff like that. But I just felt really helpless at the moment. And that really, I don't like that feeling. I don't like feeling helpless at all so it's just that really took me there like what am i doing and, and it's just everything just really killed me like on the inside like everything was just eating at me and i really just i just broke down and cried like i apologize to everyone i like that was in the kind of the 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 path of that but like that really just broke me down so really for like two to three days i just wasn't functioning I really wasn't functioning at all. And I, it's like peaks and valleys. I have some peaks and then I have some valleys. I've gotten good to where my valleys don't last that long. I really want to eliminate them all together, but I understand that's a part of life. And you're going to have hardships and it's all about how you react to those hardships. But Saturday, man, I was just, I was crying. like, And I've never cried like that unless I'm getting a whipping. If I'm getting a whipping, that's, that's one thing. But I've just never emotionally cried off of anything like that. Funerals, you know, my father died. I didn't cry that hard, you know. When, I, when this happened, that happened, I didn't really didn't cry that hard. But for some reason, just the situation and just feeling helpless. So I really made a vow to myself never to feel that way again. Like, what am I going to do different to avoid myself being put in this situation? So I'm really really trying my hardest right now in school. I'm slated to graduate May 18th, so I just gotta bust my ass until then, like, no days off, because this feeling right now, being away from my daughter, it's crazy, like, it hurts every time, but it's like, it's worse now, because spending this last year off, that's honestly been like the best time, one of the best times I've had my whole life because was, I was finally put in a position to provide for my daughter to get her the things she does want and the things she does need and still be around her. Because for, like I said, for the past, since 2011, I've been in school, so the only time I would see her is like on holidays and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, it'd be a week here, two to three weeks there, but that's still, you still missing months at a time. And so it's just, it's hard. I'm not even gonna be like, well, you know, it's really hard. It's really hard, especially being the age I am and being around the people that I am, they're really good people. They have good hearts. They really can't understand my situation. They, the most they can do is say, hey, I understand your situation. They can give me some advice, but it, it's just, it's really hard. Like, but life's not easy and I understand that. And I don't want to just make a video complaining, but I just really got to let it out. Because two days ago, three days ago, when I broke down, that was it. It was it was rough. It was rough. It was a place I really don't like to be. That's not really Tavian at all, like that guy. And so, yeah, I just had to talk to somebody, talk to y'all. Uh, I do have some good news though. 
they're going to be up here. My daughter and my mother and my little sister and hopefully my grandmother, they're coming up here this weekend, so I get to see them. So that's kind of something that kind of brought it full circle. So it kind of, oh, phone's dying, so I'm going to go to my room and put it on a charger. But they're coming here this weekend, so that's, that's really brought my spirits up. And to see what I'm doing it for and who I'm doing it for. I'm doing it not just for my daughter, not just for my mother, not for my grandfather, grandmother. I'm really ultimately doing it for myself. So if you're watching this, thanks for watching this. I'm not going um, I'm not gonna really promote this one. I'm just throw this one up. Whoever watches it, thanks for watching. Um, more life. Tavion TV? Yeah.